In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a page style tab view in Swift UI. As you can see, we can swipe through the screens, we get the little dots on the bottom to show us where we're at, and you typically see this kind of thing in an onboard flow. All right, let's get into it. As always, I like to keep my tutorials focused on the task at hand, so I have a bit of a starter project, but you can see the content view, as you can see in the preview on the right, nothing has been done. This is what you start with in a brand new Xcode project. By the way, this is on Xcode 13 and iOS 15. Uh, now, the starter aspect of it, I'll scroll down a little bit, is my onboard view here. And I'm gonna reuse this onboard view to, to swipe through. We'll talk about that later. But essentially, it's a basic V stack. Uh, you have an image, a text for the title of Sketchpad, and then another text for the description, and then some padding. Uh, nothing crazy, super basic V stack. I know I went over that quickly, but to be honest, if you don't understand a basic V stack, you're probably learning things out of order and I would recommend revisiting that. You probably shouldn't be learning page tab views before you understand V stacks. But anyway, let's start building this tab view because the idea here is we have these onboard views that we can pass in an image, a title and a description if we have like three different views uh, and we'll populate our page view with those views. That's the general idea. So what we wanna do, get rid of this hello world text and I'll scroll up on my preview so you can see the preview we're working with. And we want to make this a uh, tab view. We'll open and close that. And a tab view needs a view in it. So I'm gonna scroll down here just to save time, copy and paste our preview onboard view because it's, it's the same thing. So one onboard view. Now again, we're gonna eventually have three onboard views to put in here, but just for the sake of getting it up and running, we're gonna have one onboard view. Now, as you can see right now, this is just a tab view. Uh, here's a little screenshot of what a normal tab view looks like. However, in Swift UI, a tab view has certain styles. So we need to give it a page style to give us our page tab view. So we can do dot tab view style, and you see we get the autocomplete. And then in iOS 14 and below, you had to type, you know, page tab view style like this and initialize it. Uh, well, in iOS 15, I believe we got some new syntax where we can just do dot page. Uh, and actually I do want the index display mode. And then the index display mode is when you want the little dots to show up. So you can do always, automatic, never. Just wanted to show you these options. We'll go ahead and do uh, always so we see our, our three dots. And now let me put more pages in there because right now we just have this one uh, onboard view. So I'm gonna copy this, paste, paste. Now we have three of our onboard views. They're all gonna say the same thing, all with the scribble sketchpad. And let me update that so when we scroll through this, we can kind of you know see uh, the difference. So I'll do paint uh, palette dot fill and you know we'll do color picker again i'm just doing some generic onboard stuff and for the last one we'll do uh dial dot min dot fill and these are sf symbols by the way uh, if you're not familiar with sf symbols i got a whole video about that i'll link to the description that's where i'm getting these names from i just have them memorized uh, and we'll do custom uh, setting. And I have those memorized because I've already built this tutorial, but I did have to go look them up in SF symbols just for context. So now that we have our three onboard views, and I do want to say uh, real quick that these don't have to be like the same view type. These can be three, four, five, or seven completely different views. I'm just having one reusable onboard view, but again, these could be three totally different views. So now let's run our preview and see this in action. Okay, so now we can we can swipe, but we don't see our dots. And the reason why is because our dots are white. And uh, like, for example, if I stop this and we go to dark mode, color scheme, dark, run it again. Now you see our three dots at the bottom. And as I'm swiping, you can see the dots move. Now, there is another modifier we can add to show a little background. So it does show up uh, on the white background. So we'll do, go back to light mode here. And let's add uh, another modifier. Scroll up a bit. It is called dot index view style. And we can do page background display mode dot uh, always. And now you can see it's, it's kind of faint to see on the light mode. Uh, I'll run it in the preview so I can switch back and forth between uh, light and dark, not in the preview, in the simulator. So again, now you see the little background I got going on. And if I do command shift A on the simulator, now you can see I got the background for my dots. So I like that look personally. And as you can see, we can swipe through, go back to dark mode, we can swipe through. And that is a very basic, typical onboard setup. Now, one thing to note, because again, these three views can be completely different, even though we're using the same one. But on your last view, you probably want some sort of button to say, okay, done. So you can actually go into your app because right now we can't like navigate away from this. We can just swipe, but that's you know a whole nother topic. 
But again, back to the code, it's relatively simple, right? You just have a tab view and then you make sure you set your tab view style to dot page. Again, that's iOS 15. I believe in iOS 14 or before you have to do, you know, page tab style and then initialize it. Like I showed you before this index display mode is how you show your dots. And then if you want that little background we have on our dots, uh, as you can see there, then you do index view style page background display mode always. So relatively straightforward code. Uh, it's nice to have that kind of stuff built into Swift UI. Uh, if you enjoyed my teaching style, my presentation style, I started creating my own courses at the website you see here. You can watch the first 10% or so for free to get a feel for them. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.